Hey. You right on time, girl. <laughs> girl. I try to be on time with these IG lives. Yes. How you feeling? I'm doing pretty good. I just woke back up, girl. I've been like... Me too. Girl. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. How about yourself? I'm feeling good. I had to throw some eyebrows on you for you because I was like, sure. Girl. I'm like, crazy. <laughs> I wish I could feel my eyebrows in. They so everywhere. I can't even do it. I just learned. So I think that's my new skill from yes. <laughs> quarantine. <laughs> skill, okay. Yes. So, okay. I'm super excited because you got new music out, first off. Mm. Yes. And I see you were looking for um a child or like the dance. So did you pick one? You know what? I, I picked one. I picked C, but my mom texted me last night like, I'm just going to do B. Like, everybody keeps saying, I'm just going to do my own. Like, so I don't know. I feel like I should do C because my fans want it to be C, the one that I put um, posted. So, yeah, the one that you do is the one that's going to pop off, I feel like. So, right. So, yes. it's like, I'm probably going to do C. So, when can we expect that? You know what? I said I was going to do it today, mm -hmm. but we shall see how the day goes. Like, <laughs> I may learn it today and film yeah. it tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, because it takes it takes some time. Like I like C because I feel like that's the easiest one for me to do. <laughs> okay. Yes, because all these dances, these TikTok dances, be for like professional dancers. This is true. Yeah, the little dances don't be easy at all. So yeah, do C <laughs> for us because I you know I can do that one. <laughs> okay. All right, and your new song um is out right now. You got two actually you got winner and you got STCU mm -hmm. with Jay Reed. So how did that come um you know come about the clap? For um FTCU, I'm really like comfortable with doing slow ballads and stuff like that. So I just wanted a song that was upbeat and a song that could be like played in the club and people could shake their ass to. Mm -hmm. And that's how he started making a beat. He's like, oh, okay, got you. And he started putting this little New Orleans little spin on it. And that's how that song came about. And for Winter, Winter was a song where I looked through my notes and all my old feelings were there. And I'm like, I never spoke on how I was done dirty and like how I was <laughs> feeling like when I was in. Hey, like I'm I'm so used to making happy love songs and stuff. Mm -hmm. so I'm like, let me just go back and talk and speak on my feelings from the past. And that's how that song came about. So is that how you start writing your your music? Like you going back and like past journals and stuff and just seeing how you're feeling or just like whatever you're feeling at that time? A little bit of both. Mostly I look through my journals and my notes because I write all the time like randomly I have so many I have my diary since I was a little girl like I've always had a diary a journal so now that you know iPhones have the little notes I'm always writing random stuff in there so I can always pull at least something even if I just think of some random shit like I can still pull from my notes because it's always something in there <laughs> yes okay all right and you know when I was like okay I got need coming through let me figure out some other stuff besides the music for her you yes. are so damn private girl so yes private. girl I got to be girl <laughs> I'm like I can't find nothing on her so that's no. <laughs> okay <laughs> so okay well let us know one thing that like your fans don't know about you that's not too personal but you know let us know something because you too damn private I mean it's cool to be a little bit but dang I don't know. I'm so bad at like stuff that people don't know about me because honestly, like I I am a lot of a person that people see like on TV <laughs> and stuff. I'm quiet. I'm chill. I'm laid back. I don't know, but my friends, my family would say like I'm really talkative. My some of my fans know this. Like I'd be on live and and I'll just randomly talk about like bullshit like i i can talk a lot and i can really talk somebody's <laughs> head off but people don't know that like people just think i'm real quiet if i think of something i could tell you that's funny i'm gonna tell you okay. I, I don't have to be private all the time you know mm -hmm. i know exactly i'm like but i love it though because you know people stay out your business you ain't got you exactly. know they don't know so. the stuff they don't feel like they can speak on it you know everybody think they can is you can just say whatever now. Mm -hmm. And it, I think that's probably like the biggest thing right now with people and social media. Mm -hmm. Everybody thinks they can say something. So a lot of people don't want to put stuff out there. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just feel like social media is like hell in a way. <laughs> to me, if you ask me, like, I was just like, dang, like people are really bold. But I guess people really have always been bold behind a screen, so. 
Facts. I definitely think. I mean, because it's easier to say something crazy to somebody it's behind easy. the little screen than it is to you say know, it to the face. Mm -hmm. Never going to say it to the face. Ever. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> Has there ever been a situation where somebody did, like, do something bold to you that you didn't know, like, a fan or randomly just was bold in real life, though? Um, I think that people say stuff to me, like, in person that they feel like we're cousins like you know people think they're my family so one time i changed my hair color my recent hair color when i was blonde and brown before i just went straight black or brown and this girl in the airport she was like oh so i think you changed your hair color and i was like yeah and she was like it makes you look older and i was just like girl you don't even know me like <laughs> i don't care what you think like i'm like, you know, I, you know, people would just, they think we family. They think they could say anything. I was just like, girl, like, I don't know you like that. Like, mm. I didn't ask for your opinion on what, she, oh, she was like, I think you should go back to the blue. And I was just like, I didn't ask you, baby girl. Right. And I but you know what? Color. You can really pull off all those colors, like, real well. I will definitely say that. Like, all the colors you've had, I'm like, okay. Girl, I love some color, girl. Yes. Are you going to pull something out for the summer force, or are you going to stay black? You know what? I'm definitely going to change my hair color from um, this black. I just went this color so I can get my hair a little break. Because, mm -hmm. you know, the colors, they just do something to your hair. Like, and I'm a natural girl. Like, I, I like my curls. And the colors have messed up my curls. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to give it a break. I don't know what color I'm going to go next, but I'm definitely going to color. I hate being regular brown. Like, I know, it just feels plain, don't it? But it's yeah, like, like, yeah. It's just not me. I feel like the 12-year-old me. Oh, <laughs> now you look cute. I like the dark color too. It's look, but I just I know the feeling because like when I'm like dark myself, I feel mm -hmm. real plain. Like I just feel yeah. something needs to come. But yeah, yeah, we know a little pop. Uh, yes, you know, well, you know, some, some. But okay, so with the music, let's get back to that. What would your dream collab be if you could collab with any artist? Um. Mm. I always have to say Rihanna first because Riri. I just love everything about Rihanna, so I can never leave her out. Um, but I would love to do a, I would love to have one with Black, mm. um, Tory Lanez, Chris Brown. I have to say the boys first because I always forget them. Um, SZA, Janae, Summer Walker. There's so many great um, artists out that I would love to get a feature with. Those are like some soulful artists. So you like, yeah, you know what the feels. I'm trying to get the feels. Yes, is that how you would kind of describe your music? Because you do have like a lot of ballads and stuff, but you got some turn up music too. So would you kind of feel like you're more of a soulful on the soulful side, or? Mm, it could be a little bit of both. I definitely feel like when my ballads, when I do ballads, it has a type of soulful vibe because I'm like really, I love the whole 90s R&B era. So I feel like I channel that a lot when I write. Okay. And I know since you do have the two songs out, are you going to give us some more or are we going to be, you know, waiting on an EP or whatever? You know what? My plan is to put the project out in the next two months, but I'm really trying to see how everything goes with this whole corona, shooting my videos through all of this and getting content out before I drop my project. Mm -hmm. And um, if it takes too long for my liking or my fans liking, I'm sure it's definitely going to be too long for them. But I'm pro I'll probably drop at least another song, another little teaser. Okay. And have you been in the house? Have you really been quarantining or you been I, I have really been quarantining. Like I've been in the house and to my mom's house. That's about mm -hmm. it. To my friend's house. I go to my friend's house, but we all been quarantining, so we'll link up maybe once a week just to get it out of our system. Okay. And you know, I know some people say like there's a good and the bad. We, of course we know the bad of, you know, quarantine, but has there been anything that you learned during this quarantine? Like a new skill or just anything about yourself? Um, girl, I learned how to cook. What? Okay. <laughs> girl, I did not know how to cook for so long. So I learned how to cook some little dishes. But I'm not, like, a fan of cooking. Like, it uh, takes too long. Yeah. I'm like, I just, I love to Uber Eat and DoorDash. It's really bad. But 
I do that every day. And cooking is just, yeah, like, I want to eat when I want to eat. I don't want to have to. <laughs> now, you have to think about it the, the day before to put meat out and all yes. that. Like, it's just too much. Uh, you know, but I learned how to cook. That's a nice skill for me. Okay. All right. So, you know, we might have a little cookbook coming soon. They have a cookbook coming soon. <laughs> and if you were actually doing music, or something else you want to do? Was there anything else that you want to, you know, venture off into? Um, I would, in a way, like to venture off into fashion. But I'm not really a fashionista. So, like, <laughs> not as much as I'm saying. Like, I feel like if I didn't, if I wasn't an artist, I would like to write music for other people. Like, I just enjoy mm. it doing music being in the studio the whole creative part making the music is like the funnest part for me so I would definitely still like to do something with music even if I wasn't an artist have you already wrote songs for other people I haven't wrote songs for other people yet I have a lot of songs that um I would do nothing with them and I feel like I should send this to like I don't even know how it works but I told my mom like I should send this off to other artists who may want to use these songs and the only person I wrote for is my mom. Like she'll write half a song and send me it, send it to me. Like just write the rest. She's not oh, oh. but okay. it's a it's a practice, you know, writing for my mama. She doesn't yes. she never puts her songs out though, so you know, she's just doing what I'm what I just said. Like she just likes to be in the studio and create. Mm -hmm. She has a the problem of not putting out music way worse than I do. Because we want to hear her too. What is she doing? We want to hear that. Okay. That's, that's what I'm telling her. The music is so good. Like, y'all, you need to ask her because she'd be making it. She'd be making it. She just don't put it out. Okay. And I think we would love to hear like a song from you. Y'all already know what we're talking about. Yeah. Just don't put it out. And I think we would love like a song from y'all or a collab album. You know, everybody doing these collab albums. That would be cute. Oh, yeah. We only did one song together so far, but maybe, you know, a collab album could be cute. You know, some, some. Okay. No, no one else can never come out, girl. Uh, look, but at least we got it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Little fish. One day, that documentary. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we can expect, you know, something, hopefully another song coming soon. But we want that video before the week is over. So, you know. Okay. We're trying to get on TikTok. We're trying to do something. I like got I said, you. that's the only yeah. thing I can do. <laughs> okay, I got you for real. I need to, that's what I need to hear because I will keep, like, pushing that back. I'm not, like, on the TikTok wave like everybody. I'm trying to be, but I was like, oh, I need to do it, but I never do it. Like, I'm yeah. not in love with So, y'all go to her page and go crazy in them comments. Let her know we want that video. <laughs> yeah, let me dance. I got to go. I got, Danny, you got to, TikToks are getting so they're just going up like you have to go outside have good lighting <laughs> background like it's just getting harder you know what i'm saying no it is just being hard facts yes yeah, you gotta have a whole ring light outside exactly. just to get <laughs> that's what i keep thinking about i'm like all right i'm gonna learn it tomorrow like i'm gonna do it tomorrow like that's a lot don't put it off again learn that dance today we want to learn it today. friday period <laughs> <laughs> yes that's right. right a date well, thank you so much for stopping by. We can't wait to hear the new song after you put it out. But give us a little time to, you know, jam to these real quick, all right? Okay. I'm definitely going to do that. I mean, <laughs> do that anyway. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.